Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video here on my channel. Today we're going surfing again. I'm back at my home in Elsfleet. Today I'm going to the Zwischenana Lake. And for me this is a completely new spot. I've not been there before. And the main reason I want to go there is because it's only 30 minutes away from my home. So it's very near. I love to sail. I love to surf at the Steinhuda Lake. But unfortunately it's uh, almost a two hour drive every time. So for just an after work session it's not so good. So. This is why I want to try this lake. And also it's supposed to be quite deep, around 2 to 4 meters. So it should be pretty good for foiling. Today the forecast calls for around 13 to 14 knots. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe I will go on the big slalom kit. Or maybe I will go on foil. Or maybe I will do both. The back and forth has got me so messed up. Dem Streckenverlauf 11 Kilometer folgen. The signs we've had enough of the whole damn thing that we got going. You hold the string. All right, I think I arrived. The parking spot is quite far from the water actually. And the rain just arrived. So I'm going to wait a little bit because actually the forecast is calling for a lot of sun today. So why should I go out in the rain now if there's sun later? So I'm just gonna have my lunch now and then rig up and go out. It looks like foiling to be honest, there's not that much wind. But that could also be because of the rain right now. Because in the rain usually there's less wind. Because I want to train foil anyway for next year. Because next year I plan on starting in the national series again. And there we do a lot of foil sailing and I haven't done that much foil sailing. So that's what I need to train for mainly. Actually last weekend I participated in a slalom race at our lake, the Steinhuda Lake. It was just a fun race, but we had pretty good participation. I think it were 36 people in total who were sailing, which is pretty great for a fun race. And we had super conditions with a wind force of 5 to 6 the whole day. And we did 8 races in total with a full fleet racing system. So meaning all people race in the same race, which was pretty fun to say the least. And yeah, I haven't done slalom in I think two years now and it was my first race in a while. And uh, I, I did pretty well, I think. I finished, I think in the end, 10th. And throughout the races my, my places went up also. I think first races were around 12th, 11th place and in the end I managed to finish 8th. So I was pretty happy with that, but I noticed that I need to work on my, on my starts mainly. Perfekter Start, perfekter Start. Keine Frühstarter. And my, the, the jibes were okay. I mean, I made most of my jibes planing or some of my jibes planing, not all. But it's more the tactics and the jibes. Do you go, do you go inside or do you make a wide jibe? And in which cases do you do what? And yeah, I think that's mainly what I need to train on. But I think my slalom racing is still okay. I noticed my speed is good. So I'm really excited to go, to get back into racing next season. The reason why I didn't do so much slalom and racing in the last two years is because the national events were always coinciding with my exams, unfortunately. So I didn't have really any time to do it, to do both my exams and the national series. So I decided to just skip the national series and concentrate on speeding in the last two years. But now I really want to get back into it because windsurfing is so much fun in all the disciplines, not just speed surfing but also slalom and racing and actually I also want to get into wave so I have a lot of plans yeah but now I'm just excited to train over the winter mainly for slalom and foiling to get back into it next season yeah I'm going to eat my lunch now and I hope the rain will stop soon and then I will rig up my foil foil board and I think 8-4 sail see you then Y'all see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, 
Walk down, you're too strong Wanna battle with the beast, bring a few on The commander and the chief for my crew on Bullets rattling and whistle at your two Can never sleep, eyes open, hands clutching on my throat This a war zone This a war zone Yo, this a motherfucking war zone Now the wind really turned up. I made a big crash, but nothing happened. And I just made two or three runs more just to feel safe again. Because after a crash, when you just stop, you have a bad feeling for the next time. That's why I made a couple more runs on the foil. Yeah, now I will get the slalom board because it actually is quite good for slalom now. Alright, that was a nice little slalom session at the end there. Unfortunately, I just saw when I got back that my GoPro died on me about 10 minutes into the slalom session. Yeah, I really like the GoPro, but sometimes when you film, especially I film most of the time in 4K and then I film with the GPS on so I can show you the speed later and the battery dies really fast in these circumstances, I think about one hour in. And yeah, the colder it is, the less battery you have. Anyway. I had some fun in the slalom but still it was kind of strange because I more or less expected the board to come start flying because I still had the feeling from foiling. So yeah, pretty strange feeling. I just had to get back into the slalom. I had a pretty good feeling on the foil today. Like at first the wind was really low, about 5 knots so I couldn't fly at all. And then in front of the clouds there came a big uh, front and the wind went up to I think maybe 18 to 20 knots at times but I still felt kind of confident and I managed to keep the boat on board under control. This one crash I showed you was the only crash of the day and it was not so bad so I'm pretty happy with that. And also I hit a new top speed today. I think I had 22 knots which is about 40 kilometers. So I improved by about one knot. So yeah, the question for me really is how far can I push the speed on an, on an aluminum foil? I've seen some guys do over 30 knots but I think that was all on carbon foils. And the carbon foils are stiffer and have also less drag, so it's not quite comparable. But I think maybe I can hit 24, 25 knots. I would really like to get in the range of my formula speeds. I think my average there is about 26.5 knots, but that will be very difficult, I think. So I hope I can upgrade to a carbon foil in the future. But first, the goal is to push this aluminum foil and see how fast it can go, yeah. Also, I hope next week my new boards arrive. I ordered three new boards and I will show you next week when they arrive. For the moment I just borrowed two old boards from my dad so I can go out windsurfing at all while waiting for my new boards. So yeah, I hope next week there is some new gear. See you! It's cold and wet. Next time I will hang it up to dry. Well, I always say that, but I always forget. Ugh.